Hey everybody, my name is Mule, known in other parts as Moose. This is Miss Iggy Threadgood. Gimme kibi. Uh, she's grumpy. Oh, there you go. Anyway, we'd be traveling and we wanted to bring you along with us. We headed south all oh, the end of February after a great ski trip with some friends that came to meet us. Mulementary. We live in Glenwood Springs, originally from the south. And we're gonna show you some travels in our travel trailer as we move through the south. We hope you enjoy it. Let us know how we do. We'll continue if you wanna see more, and if not, We'll just do it for fun. We're blessed to be able to do it and would like to bring you with us. Thank you. This is the urban camping. It's no big deal. She's in there, get ready. I'm shaving, get ready for a fine little wedding. Not as handsome as I used to be, but good once as I ever was. She's Noah Outback. Few people around. Not too bad. A few moments later. Tomorrow. Good. Let's go have some gumbo. Come on. She's not that romantic. Little work. Oh, she got her bird. I love gumbo from Bourbon Street. Yep. We're going with a little uh, Franz Koner OIAL shrimp stew. The traveling stew. Damn fine. Thanks, boo. Suffering here. Food. Horrible. Mmm. I love it. I love a rose all wedding. Behind me is the baddest rig here. I'll give y'all a little look at it. Hey, we've made it to the quarter. The RV park is just right around. I'm here with the people. Little musician here in the back. Look at that. There's a spot. The French Quarter is amazing. You gotta pretty much love this urban camping. Check out the location. It's pretty good. So we just had an amazing meal and my daughter who's dead head um, is eating some uh, kale and it's delicious. I'm that is just, man, that is good. Day three. Michelle, that was a good New Orleans trip. Man, we ate at a good restaurant. Just hooking up so we can uh, get our New Orleans a little bit after rush hour and get Seabrook. Galveston Bay uh, before five o'clock traffic. Just uh, rigging her up and uh, we'll be ready to go in the morning. Let's go relax a little bit. Give me some rap. <laughs> there she goes. Suzanne says she's ready to get off I-10. I kind of prefer it to the sound of elk bugling and eagle's wings. 
you know there's people around, there's a siren every five minutes. And what a great time here. I'd stay if I could. Not. Suzanne just got clearance to throw away a piece of boudin from the OIL. Depressing. Might have to call off the trip. We try not to let the word out. Some of these RV parks. Tough. I pretty much wear these. Makes it look like I'm gonna work out. Oh, the jets went off. Man, that sucks. It's tough around here. These water dogs are almost unmanageable in the outback. How bad is she want to go swimming? Soon you'll be at the beach, babe. She's a peaceful morning. I think of her as one of those trophy days. Don't come easy. Kind of easy come, easy go. Jerry Jeff, lyric. One eternity later. She's the old Mississippi again. One of the big advantages of traveling cross country in RV rig is that you can position yourself strategically. For instance, you could be across the street from your mother-in-law's house. Yep. While your wife's in there visiting. All the comforts of home, hot and cold running water, lavadors, here for a workout. You gotta love it. Mike Henry, Seabrook, Texas. Mules and moose. Jenny tells me that you can tell the intelligence of a dog of how long they'll stay underneath a towel. This is not a good showing for a Digi thread grid. Kind of looks like a deck it's in an RV park, but she's really my office. I'm going to get after it here in a minute. Nobody ever uses this stuff at RV places. Leaving it for me, I guess. I have found borrowed coffee. Don't get your hands near my mouth. Obviously, another trophy moment. <laughs>